guys, Kim here, and on this super short tutorial episode, I'm actually going to guide you through updating your Facebook like box. Now, I don't know if you've heard, but the like box, the Facebook like box that you could um, put on your website to get more Facebook fans is now gone, and it has been replaced with the Facebook page plugin, which actually looks really neat. So if you have a WordPress website, I'm going to show you exactly how to install this awesome page plugin. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to your plugins page on your WordPress dashboard. And from there, you're going to go ahead and install the Facebook like box. Now you don't have to install this plugin, but it just made my life a little bit easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you if you don't know how to add that plugin, all you're going to do is go to add new and from the search section, you're going to type in Facebook like box. Now I'm going to link this specific plugin in the description below in case you can't find it or you're a little bit confused. It's this plugin right here. So install that Facebook like box and we're going to head on over to the widget section under appearance to install this on our sidebar. Now you don't have to install it on the sidebar if you don't like to, but that's kind of how I've done mine and I think it looks pretty cool and I also uh, feature it on my homepage because it's definitely how I want people to find me as I want them to go to Facebook not go to Facebook, like me on Facebook, which is different. All right, anyway, back to the main topic here. All you're gonna do is go to your widgets, and from there, you're gonna actually look for this Facebook like box widget, and you're gonna drag it over to your sidebar. You can also install this in the footer if you want to do so, but right now, I'm just gonna show you how I have it installed. And so, for this particular, um, for this page plugin, all I want to do is update the page plugin settings. So you're going to go ahead and add your plugin page URL. So all you're going to do is that would be your Facebook page URL. So mine is facebook.com slash Kim and Heman is very simple. And then you're going to go ahead and adjust the page width and the page height whether or not you want your cover photo to show up or if you want your page post to show up. So as you can see over here, I don't have my Facebook cover hidden and I do have my page posts, those show up. So those are literally just preferences. It's that simple, it's all you have to do and then you go ahead and click save at the bottom and you are all set. I'm gonna remove this because I already have my own um, Facebook like box widget installed and what you want to do is make sure to select page plugin new and um, if you have a specific divider you can add that title just like mine shows up here free tips on Facebook all right so if you have the old like like box installed this is kind of what it will look like it's a little bit old as I mentioned before so anyway this is a beautiful way to set up your page update your Facebook page plugin. So if you don't have a WordPress website, that's not a problem. All you have to do is navigate over to the developer section on Facebook. And don't worry, I'm going to link to this in the description below. So you'll find all the information that you need there. So if you don't have, like I said, a WordPress website, what you have to do is simply go here to this page and add your information. So I'm going to go ahead and add my Facebook page URL and it pops up very nicely here. Beautiful. I can select the custom width and the custom height. I can select whether or not I want to show friends faces. So this automatically shows up when people are logged into their Facebook account and they go to your website. If any of their friends have liked your page, their faces show up here. So it just brings that extra sort of, you know, tidbit of social proof and kind of encourages or incentivizes your friends, you know, to say, well, you know what, if, I'm sorry, your fans um, or your visitors to say, you know what, if my friend would like this page, I probably will like it too. So that's the psychology behind it. Um, you can, you know, remove that if you don't want it there. You can select to hide the cover photo, although I think that kind of looks a little silly. And then you can decide whether or not you want to show a page post or if you just want to show, you know, your friends' faces maybe and then just uh, your page. So that's something else that you can do. And all you're going to want to do after that is click Get Code. 
you're going to want to go ahead and enter this code in between the body tags of your website. Now, this is only if you know what you're doing. If you know a little bit about code and you can handle this aspect of it, go for it. If not, get your developer to do it. It's very simple, very quick to do, and um, you know you don't risk breaking your site, which is kind of a big deal. So anyway, it's really easy, really simple thing to do. Where your uh, page plugin will actually show up is in this part of the code. Um, and so that's just something to know. Very simple and easy. Just how to, you know, just update your Facebook like box, make it look a little bit cooler, a little bit more eye catching. So guys, I hope this was helpful. Uh, I get asked this question a ton. So I hope that I was able to guide you through this. And, um, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Definitely subscribe if you haven't done so already. Share this video with your friends and I will catch you on the next tutorial episode of Kim TV. Bye guys.